Here we have a linear inequality in two variables, x plus 3y less than 3. So we want to graph this. Let's get it into y equals mx plus b form, mx plus b, where of course m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, and then because it's less than, we are going to shade down. Shade down. Less than is shade down, greater than is shade up. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to treat this like an equal sign and just solve for y, essentially. Solving for y will get this into y equals mx plus b form. So I subtract an x. That gives us 3y less than negative x plus 3. And then divide both sides by 3. y less than negative 1 third x plus 1. See how I got it in the special form so my slope kind of jumps out at me? Right, if I just did negative x divided by 3, it would be a little harder to tell what the slope is. Now I can see that here's our slope, is negative 1 third, and here's our y-intercept. Okay, so let's do it. The y-intercept is 1, the slope is negative 1 third. Remember that slope is rise over run. So we can put this negative with um, either the rise or the run. So let, let's, let's treat this as negative 1 over 3. So this tells us we go down 1. And since 3 is positive, that's going to be to the right 3. If 3 was negative, we'd go to the left. If this bit, if this 1 was positive, we'd go up. It would get us, any which way, it gets us to the same line. So you can put this negative wherever you want with whatever term you want. Okay, so we go down 1 and 3 to the right. So down 1 and 3 to the right gives us right here. Now, we draw the line, but since it's a less than, it's going to be a dashed line. And we'll do the solid line case next. So we connect these, but the less than doesn't actually include the points that are on the line, the way we represent that is by representing a dashed line. So there we go. All right, and then we shade down. Shade down because it's less than. If this were greater than, we would shade up. This shading up and down trick only works if it's in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, if it's not in that form, then you have to test a point to see if, a region, if, if the region is true or false for that point and that tells you that point goes in the shaded region, if it's true. Um, but with this method, you don't have to do that. You have to make sure you're in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so we're shading down. All right, so that means starting at the line and going down. All right, shade it out. Good to go. Okay. Let's, just for the sake of completeness, examine the kind of sister case here, y less than or equal to negative one-third x plus one. Okay, if you had that, you'd have the exact same situation, except now the line would be solid instead of dashed. Okay, so we still have our y-intercept at one. We go down one and over three. And now since it's less than or equal to, we do a solid line. Solid line passing through those two points. Hopefully your line's a little straighter than mine. And then we just shade this region down below. All right, and you can be pretty creative with how you shade as long as you're only shading the region that we want shaded.